Close to 400 million people will move into the region's cities by 2030 and over half of the world's megacities will be in the Asia-Pacific. Mixed-use development, which physically integrates residential, commercial, cultural and transportation functions into a self-sustaining neighbourhood, encapsulates the idea of a 15-minute city. It is a key concept to foster sustainable urbanisation. If you take a look at some of the region's iconic landmarks, Tokyo's Roppongi Hills, Sydney's Barangaroo South, and Marina Bay Financial Centre in Singapore, what stands out as a common thread is that they are all mixed-use developments. The adoption and thoughtful execution of the mixed-use development is a massive opportunity to leverage on the region's urbanisation trends. As investors continue to incorporate sustainability criteria into the investment process, commitments to net zero targets will gain momentum. Development and redevelopment will have to adhere to the decarbonisation protocol, not just due to pressures from investors, but also to assess the growing green financing market. According to Active Capital's 2021 Sustainability Led Cities Index, the region's highest scoring green cities are Shanghai, Beijing, Seoul, Tokyo and Shenzhen. While the region has continued making strides towards the greening of its cities, it still lacks the sustainability standards that global cities such as New York, London and Paris are setting. However, there are clear reasons to believe that this gap will continue to close.